All right, thanks for coming. Sorry we got started late. I got distracted by the beautiful baby who is also now, I believe, an ATC. So welcome, I'm Clint Byram. I work for IBM. I have only 10 minutes, probably less, because they're gonna cut me off. So I'm just gonna go really fast and talk about Bonnie CI, which is a CI service offered to developers of open source projects so you can develop like OpenStack develops. So what's our inspiration? Well, our team at IBM was deploying OpenStack and we actually deployed Zool to test it and to, to do all of our development work. Uh, so we had cross-repo gated CI enabled by Zool, which is extremely popular. Any OpenStack developers in the house? All right, you love Zool, right? You didn't even, maybe even know, don't even know what Zool is. It's the thing that tests all your patches really fast and lands patches really fast. It's amazing. And our developers at IBM recognized that. And we had a lot of people come to us after our project was over and say, well, whatever happened with the project, we loved the CI system. So could we have that going forward? And we said no. Um, because <laughs> the reality is it's a, actually a big deal and we need to think about this and we need to actually test it with more projects because maybe it's just special to uh, IBM. So we decided let's make Bonnie CI and let's expose it just to open source projects on GitHub. So what we're missing with some of the other popular alternatives, right? You have like Circle CI and, and Travis, you could just run your own Jenkins, you can run your own Bamboo, uh, you can run that boat thing which I always forget the name of. Uh, anybody know? Uh, so uh, what's missing is that they don't do a lot of great parallel testing, some of them, uh, Jenkins, but uh, CircleCI and Travis will certainly spin up lots of cloud resources to test your things. Uh, they also don't, don't automatically gate their, their merges. So you can gate things and you can write your own bot. You can even gate things with Jenkins, uh, but this becomes a giant pipeline problem, which uh, OpenStack actually recognized, and that's why Zool was created. Uh, uh, almost none of them, maybe none of them, have cross-repo dependencies. So one of the cool things about Zool is you can be landing patch in this repository, and when it breaks, you say, oh, that's broken in that repository. So you can say, I depend on a patch to that one, and then the pipeline will actually wait for that one to land and pre-merge test them together in one test. That's a really cool feature that we love. Uh, another thing is some of these are just not open source. We love open source. A lot of our uh, clients do as well. So we wanna make sure that people can deploy their own if they want to. And there are also security concerns. <coughs> Jenkins. <coughs> so why would you want some of these features? Well, I just went through most of that, but essentially uh, gated merging was the, the biggest thing is that people always felt that, their, that their, uh, ma the master branch was working. At least it passed some test. Uh, maybe there's some small degree of uh, differentiation between how you use it and how the master tests run. But having a high degree of confidence in the, in the, in the, um, in the master branch actually matters. So uh, that combined with high, high code velocity from that because it turns out if you start with bad code, you can't finish until someone fixed their bad code, which extends your velocity, makes everybody slow down, and in increases people's uh, diversion because now it's like, oh, yeah, the tests are broken, I'll go work on a different patch and a different patch. Well, then everything's broken until that's fixed versus if you're gated, it's only broken for the guy who broke it, right? Uh, so what does Bonnie CI do right now? You can manually sign up if you are really, really super crazy brave and you wanna try testing your code with our super alpha beta, uh, we're gonna call it closed beta uh, service. Uh, it will run checks on your GitHub pull requests it will run gate tests and merge things into your protected GitHub uh, branches without any interaction from you, which is actually really cool when you start to get really busy and you have one reviewer who can approve patches and 10 people who can submit them. It's really nice for that one reviewer to go ahead and just go approve, 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 and those things merge sanely and they all get tested. It can do that for you. Uh, and we do have a basic in repo test thing, but it, we really hate it and because we're actually working on something really cool, uh, which is the next version of Zool. So that's a part of our roadmap. Uh, the roadmap for uh, Bonnie CI is we do want to have an automated sign up of some kind so that you don't have to submit a patch to a YAML file to us or talk to us, which is how most people get signed up now. Um, we also want to have more parallelism. Right now we run on a tiny little uh, Bluemix private cloud. Um, we'd love to be able to run against different public clouds, different OpenStack clouds. Um, we just don't have the resources. Um, we will have a full in-repo job definition language. So you can say uh, run the Python tests, run the, uh, the, the PEP8 tests, run the, uh, the C module build tests uh, expressed currently in your in 
fully in your repo because right now you have to express it in one of our repos pointing back to yours, which is uh, not cool. And if you see the two stars, that's because Zool v3 actually adds that as a feature. So we are contributing quite a bit uh, to v3's development. Um, we're hoping it'll be done soon. Uh, Cross-repo testing, we don't actually have that right now. The GitHub driver that we're using, which was uh, submitted by a company called Good Data, uh, didn't support that, so we don't yet, um, but we will eventually have that uh, once v3 is done and has GitHub support. And uh, we also want to have true multi-tenancy. Right now, everybody's just kind of in one big lump, and so you're going to see that the patch is testing from your, your competitors. So if you're Coke, you're going to see Pepsi's tests. Yes, I'm shooting for the sky, the sky right? <laughs> Uh, so, where's that at? Uh, roadmap blocker, Zool v3. Um, it, it is a massive effort. It is a huge effort, actually. And um, it's adding, uh, in addition to the other things that I talked about, uh, it's shrinking the services, making Zool a little more uh, sane to deploy. Um, it's making it more private cloud friendly. There's some problems with Zool that make it hard to deploy when you have a private cloud that's not necessarily reachable from where you run your Zool. Uh, it's, as I mentioned, it's going in repo job definition. Um, and there's some things that have already made drivers easier to write. Uh, so I put the red box there like any upstream project. Timeline's hard to predict. But we feel like June seems likely for sort of pre-release usability. Um, we're not sure, but uh, we're hoping for that. So uh, I think I have maybe 60 seconds for questions. So questions, go fast. Yes. These slides are not currently available online, but I am converting them to reveal.js, and they will be on bonnieci.org in a couple weeks. Got time for one more? All right, thank you so much for listening for my very fast talking. Have a nice day.